In this video, I'll teach you how to filter data between two dates in Microsoft Excel. I have a data set over here, which consists of three columns, a column for dates, a column for employee names, and the third column is their bonuses. What I want to do is I want to filter this data in a way in which I only get those records in which the date falls between two particular dates. So what I want to do is I want to enter two dates in these two cells here, and I want to only get the records which fall within those two dates based on the dates in column A, of course. So in other words, let's say I want all the dates between January 1st, 2001 and January 1st, 2010. I want to be able to enter my two dates over here in these two cells and based on that this data would get updated so that I only see records which fall within these two dates. So in order to do this I will need to use a formula, the index match formula in this case. So the first step is to create a separate table in which the calculations will take place based on the original table which is over here. So I've created this table over here so we have the same columns, date, employee name and bonus and this is where we're going to be entering our formula so the formula i'll be using is going to be an index match formula it's a rather long formula and is currently displayed on the screen and the formula is also available in the description box of this video so i'm going to go ahead and apply this formula to this range and then i'll briefly explain how it works so i copied and pasted the formula into the first cell of our second table and note that this is an array formula so you will have to click on Control shift enter on your keyboard for the formula to take effect now i'm going to apply the formula to the full range as so and i'm going to quickly change the format of the last column because for some reason it's recognizing it as a date format there we go so as you can see here I was able to successfully apply the formula to the full range and as you can see here this formula was able to return all the records from this left hand side table where the dates in column A fall between these two dates that we inputted in cells B2 and B3 in this case and all the values in which the date falls between January 1st 2001 and January 1st 2010 have been returned by this query now let me quickly do a spot check that's right 2001 2002 all records between 2001 and 2010 have been returned by this formula and this is what exactly what we had in mind so now let me just uh, try changing the start dates and end dates and let's see what happens then. So instead of having 2001 and 2010, I'm going to put January 1st, 2005 and January 1st, 2015 and see what happens. The formula has now returned a new data set, which consists of all records in which the date in this table, in this reference table, falls between January 1st, 2005 and January 1st, 2015. And this is how we can query data using this formula basically by inputting the formula within the second table and then using this date filter up here in order to change the values that we filter in this second table and also note that this format in which we input these dates has to be in a particular format has to be in the exact same format as the dates which are in the original table for example in this case the dates are in the month day and year format so the same has to be the case here so the dates have to be in month day and year so let me just input that here just for more clarification so the dates have to be in month day and year format okay uh, and for for example if we put an incorrect format for example if you put the day before the month say we want january 20th 20, 2005 if you put the day first we'll get an error because only this format is acceptable in this formula so if we want january 20th we just have to put 01 20 2005 
and there we go we get all the records which fall within these two dates over here and this is how it's done so now i'll briefly explain how the formula works so first note that you will need to change the references in this formula before you apply it to your data set for example the original table in my case uh, is in the range a6 to c43 you're going to need to change that you will also need to change the references for the start and end date in the event that your start and end dates are in different cells in my case they're in cells b1 b2 and b3 but if you're but if your start and end dates are in different cells, you have to indicate them over here. All these green and blue records over here in the formula have to be based on your data set. So here's how this works. The index function returns the value at a given location in a range in this array formula. And then the match function over here is used to locate the position of a lookup value in a row column or table and those rows and columns are indicated at the end so you can see row a1 and column a1 and as we go to the next uh, next column the reference has changed you can see that's because i dragged it row b1 column b1 row c1 column c1 and all these formulas together within this statement help us get the values which fall between these two dates, the start date and end date. And that's how it's done. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If yes, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos.